Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing fine. I'm doing fine myself as well. And today's Black Friday. Yes, today's Black Friday. Therefore, I have a nice offer for you. In this video, I'll show you a nice bundle, a great bundle from AE Juice. And since it's Black Friday, you'll save a lot of money. So you can check out the links in the description by buying things with my link. You don't pay anything extra, you just support me, which I would really appreciate. Yeah, let's say you just bought it and you also downloaded it. You go to window, then it already says AE Juice Pack Manager. Then you click on it. Let's say you go to this homepage and then you will see this. Um, let's say you open this without having bought the pack, which you can also do. Then you will have the startup pack, which is free, where you also have a lot of effects and stuff. But in my case, or let's say you bought it and then in your case, you will also see this because the I want it all bundle literally has so many packs and presets and everything as you can see. And in this video, I'll show you some of these and explain you how they work and how to use them efficiently. Let's say we take the VHS pack, all right? Then you go into it and then you can already see all of the transitions and effects. Now you wanna look for something which you can use as a transition between two clips. I will take distortion 03. You can just drag it here and then drop it then it will take some time uh, only a few seconds as you can see and boom then you can go back you can also you can minimize this so what you can do is to move it to the left and as you can see it's really long so you could also you know just add a keyframe and then increase the value right here until there is this which you can use as a transition once again move the composition so that the climax is here and then you will have this cool transition right here. Yeah. All right, the next cool pack we have is the, is the seamless transitions. It's basically transitions, but you don't have to do it yourself and waste your time, but you can just use these. So since I have a gun scene right here and I want it to be really simple, I'm looking for a slide. Drop it like it's hot. And then you will have this layer. And as you can see, it has the transition board the scene before it as well. Let's say we add another scene here. Then you want to put the second scene right where the marker is and then you'll have something like this. As you can hear you also have the whoosh sound effect. You could also just turn it down a bit and if you don't want it you can just you know mute it. Yeah it's pretty easy. You don't waste any time just do it real quick and don't have to worry about motion cuts or something. If you bought the bundle then you'll also have the prism pack which we go into. And then you can already see what it does. It's like a light leak, but more like with a lens. So I'm just going to take one which will fit the scene. I would say something with a color. This one's most likely going to look good. So I'm using this. Drag and drop. Yeah, and this is what it looks like. You know, as you can see, it even has this little ghost with the zoom out. Again, we have a lot of presets. Yeah, and for these we also have these folders. The next pack I'm going to show you is my personal favorite because you can apply this on so many scenes and, and you can do so many things with it. You usually do this with overlays or you use it with other effects, but since we have this bundle, we can just use this. It's this one right here, the old film constructor. So you wanna open it. You have these nice effects. And in this scene, I have a death note scene right here. Uh, I would like it to be, you know, like an old film so we are going to use one of these frames right here. Yeah, I'm going to use this. And I'm not just going to use this, but I'm going to use many more. So this is the first thing I'm going to use. I also want to add some dust. And I don't want it to be too strong. I'm just going to use the second one right here. And then just move the layer to the left. So it applies it on all the scenes. And yes, there you go. As you can see, the dust is there. There's also a little coloring on the edges. If you don't want it to be on top of the frame, you can just move the layer below it. But I prefer it to be like this because it adds some, you know, nice coloring and some nice atmosphere. You just got to try it out yourself and then you will see how good this actually is. This pack, the liquid elements pack right here, you don't have to be an anime editor. You can use this in your MoGraph edits. You can use this in your commercials. You can use this in literally every edit. So as the name says, liquid elements, these are liquid elements. Not just a few, but a whole 
bunch of liquid elements. For this one, I don't have to show it to you because it already shows what it will look finally. But of course you can use this in your more graph edits for your text animations. You know, when this appears, then you can make the text appear. You can also use this as a background. If you mask your character and then you just put this in your background, then you will have a nice and fresh background. You can also change the colors of these. The next pack I'm going to use is the broken glass pack. And as you can see, there are some broken images, but there are also glass breaking animations. Um, in my case, I'm just going to use an image. But if you take a look carefully, it's not just an overlay, which is on top of the scene, but it literally applies the effect on the scene. The skull right here is this positioned. Also, this little part right here, literally, um, yeah, it also stays like that. So it applies the broken image or the broken effect on the scene, which is quite impressive. You don't have to use any overlays anymore. Just get this whole bundle and this pack and then, yeah, step up your editing game. I'm, I'm brutally honest with you. All right, this one we have right here is actually pretty simple, yet it can be really helpful from time to time. I'm talking about the digital screen constructor. I have some examples. This is the first one. This is the second one. And this is the third one. So as you can see, a digital screen which you can use in some research videos or if you want to have something in your background while you're talking, you can use these. Like let's say you're talking about a specific topic and then you would just have this in the background and it would be really helpful because then you don't have to find any copyrighted images but you can just use these also some for Twitter, you know. Based on your topic, you can use whatever you want here, Google, whatever. All right, last but not least is the light swipe transitions. This is really aesthetic and you can use this in advertisements as well, but it also works as transitions, especially when we have a fight scene like this and you want to have something in between these two scenes then you can just one of these. I will just try out randomly a few of these and then we'll see which one looks the best. All right, again, it's the marker here and it says cut. So this should be in the middle. So in the center of your both scenes. Yep. Since this frame actually is brighter, I will move it one to the left. So we have this. Um, let me turn off the sound. Yep. As you can see, if you want it, like if it starts too early for you, you can also pretty simple, just, you know, drag it to the right. So it starts later, then boom, you have this nice transition. And if you don't want this as well, again, just cut it out. Boom, pre really simple yet really cool. Um, I'm just going to try another one just to see if there's a better one. Yeah, as you can see, it works really fine. And this is just raw, guys. I'm not even adding some glows or some stuff onto these layers. Yeah, and I just wish I knew this earlier because then I could have had these cool things instead of some overuse overlays. So make sure to click the link in the description. Thanks for the support, y'all. Yeah. I wish you a great day. Enjoy your Black Friday. Bye.